Once you're done editing, Aurora HDR makes it easy to save to a wide range of popular file formats. In the upper right corner, just click the Share or Export button and choose Export to Image. This brings up a new dialog and you'll see different options depending upon the format that you choose. Under the Format menu, you'll see the ability to create a JPEG, PNG, or JPEG 2000, and these are files that are common for web and presentation. A high quality TIFF file or a Photoshop file is quite useful as it gives you the flexibility to work with professional formats. As an added benefit, the TIFF file supports saving in 16 bits per channel, which will preserve significantly more color data. I strongly recommend that, as well as taking advantage of either ProPhoto or Adobe RGB for a wider color gamut. Depending upon the option that you pick, you'll also see the ability to change things. For example, we could apply some sharpening on export for print and resize the image if needed. I could say dimensions here and switch this to 300 pixels per inch and set the width to be 3000. Now what we've done there is change this. You can, in this case, set the long edge or the short edge and make a change. And this would allow you to dial in the size and let it automatically calculate the rest. Now, I'm just gonna set this back to original to get the full quality, but I do like the fact that I've chosen all of the options that are needed. Remember, each format that you pick is gonna have slightly different options. Some will just let you change the color space, Others will include additional options for things like sharpening. When you're all satisfied, look it over, give the file a descriptive name, and click the Save button. The new file is written to your system.